what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make a forge with this stuff. So we're gonna try to do this in about 30 minutes and I think we can do it. We're gonna have the chassis with plaster Paris and sand. We're gonna melt down cans and metals in the crucible. We're gonna power it with propane. You need a mask, you need a mask. Always wear a mask. We're gonna attach a nozzle. You know what those are for. So, let's do this and see if I can do it in 30 minutes. First thing we're gonna do is prep our paint can. We're gonna need holes for that. We're gonna need holes for these. I did not remember my drill. We're gonna do this the hard way. No one will have a clue. <sighs> so, now comes the fun part. I'm not even gonna worry about that right now. Yeah. Plastic bag, and we need all purpose of any sand at Plaster of Paris. Now we got the sand and the plaster of Paris. Need to add water. And we just want enough water to get it wet. Gotta be moldable, you just want it to become a dough. It's gonna be a little bit too much water, so we're gonna add more, but I need more anyway, so. Should've brought a mixing bowl. Although it will scratch the crap out of it. Now comes the fun part. We're going to take that. Now we gotta take this. And scoop what is basically our mortar into here. Want it to 
to the side as much as you can, and then make your hole. Now that the outside's all clean, we can actually clean up our tool, then our table, and then we can keep baking this until the moisture is mostly out of it, and it should be ready to use, as is actually. And now since I cleared out the outside, I can actually put a lid on it, but not while it's hot. Right in there, you can see it is very pale on the bottom because it's actually dry. The top stuff is all wet and therefore only the stuff down there getting licked by the flames is actually dry. So what that means for us is ah, we basically have to wait for that to dry. Then we'll be good to go. But until then, can't melt anything because the crucible gets wet from the steam and that cools it down to boiling temperatures which is not enough to melt aluminum it just needs to bake at 450 degrees for 45 minutes to an hour and jokes aside technically we made a forge in under 30 minutes but I'm still gonna have to come back out here on a cold Wisconsin night and show you how to make aluminum melt. But in the meantime, I can do something. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how hot this thing gets.
Not the smartest idea, but it smells really good.